Hey, what is up you guys? Today I'm going to be making a story time about the time I was in a cult. Which I know you're probably thinking, what? Can the sirens please stop? Like, you have no idea. I've started three times already and the sirens will not stop. So I'm sorry. I don't know what is going on. See, now they're stopped and they're going to come back on again. Anyways, you're probably like, what? Let me just get into it. And this is not clickbait at all. I was in a cult. So basically how this all started is um, I started working at this place called the Winchester Mystery House, which basically, if you don't know, it's like a haunted house type of deal where like the girl that lived there made like a bunch of rooms. It's a super big mansion where like she made all these like rooms because her husband created the Winchester rifle. So for all the ghosts and stuff that got killed by the rifle. So like there's a room for them or like so they wouldn't find her and get to her or something like that because you know her um daughter and her husband <coughs> died like and widowed her very early on in life all of that is fake by the way but that's the whole story why it's like a natural like landmark haunted house so to speak and basically how I got the news that they were hiring is my friend when I was in community college, which I dropped out like the second week, um, she worked there and she's like, you should work there. They're hiring. So I was like, I need a job. Anyways, so she worked there in the day, but I worked there at night when they had their little seasonal Halloween fucking haunted house run through or whatever. So basically I go there to their job hiring fair. They hire me on the spot, which red flag already. And I start working there and it's fine. It's whatever. Um, and I, until up until this point, I, um, so basically how it worked is just like, you know, people would go through the haunted house and I was a maze host, which basically I'm just like a person there that wears all black that tells which way people to walk because it's like, you know, a maze. It's like a fucking, it's confusing as hell, the whole house, you know what I mean? And stuff. Um, so that's basically my job. And so you're stationed like different places in the house. So one day i was stationed in sarah's bedroom which sarah's the girl that made the fucking house and that's supposed to be the most freaking um haunted place in the entire house so and it was fun working there up until this point because up until this point i was like yeah this is fine this is whatever and i never been in the house and still kind of i was sort of shocked because it is like a national landmark or something like that how it wasn't more preserved like shit wasn't roped off like you could just touch everything and stuff and also like the things that they had like in the rooms for the haunted house like in sarah's bedroom they literally had a guy that was like half squid half human eating his wife alive in Sarah's bedroom that she made the house. I don't know. I thought it was kind of disrespectful to her and I didn't realize because I never been there that like that's how it is now. Anyways, so I was kind of like that's a little strange and also when I was stationed there I was wearing my evil eye bracelet and I don't know why, but, like, the energy in the house, I'm very spiritual, so I pick up a lot of, like, energy more than, a, you know, another person would. And, like, I was playing with it all the time, which if you don't know what an evil eye is, it's basically just, like, something that you wear. Like, you can just go look up, like, evil eye necklace, bracelet, I had a bracelet on um and it's supposed to absorb all the negative energy and so i was playing it with a lot and it was like you know it was like soaking up like a lot of negative energy 
And so I was like, that's kind of weird. And I even talked to the one of the guys that was like um, a tour guide there that was like an actor for the Halloween thing. And he's and I asked him like, what's the craziest thing that like happened? He's like, one time I was in the house by myself and I just heard like a hello. And also my, um, whatchamacallit, like one of my friends that was also a tour guide, she heard it too. So I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. Anyways, so yeah, weird energy. And that's that was the day when I kind of decided that working here may not be a good idea. I thought it would be fine. I asked my friend, she's like, I don't even think it's haunted, but obviously it is obviously even if it's not haunted there's hella bad vibes there and so basically from that point on things drastically went downhill i was working there and the bosses were hella mean to me well not hella mean but just weird like I wanted to go by a different name than my legal name and they like one of the guys would like dead name me for like weeks on end and actually asked if I wanted to be called my legal name and I was like no it says on my name tag my name and that's not the name he wanted to call me and then also just so the management was like treating me bad almost to the point where um other people were noticing actually and so I went to work with like really crazy makeup so the actors um would think I'm an actor too in the Halloween haunt thing and I actually wasn't and um one time so lunch was just kind of a free-for-all because like in the middle of like the Halloween night um, we would take a lunch. So basically, my shift started from 6 a.m. to 12. So from 6 to 9, I'd work, have like an hour lunch, then, you know, go back like 10 to 12. And people would come in. And so I just thought we had like an hour lunch. I had no idea. It was like only a half an hour. And like they treated the um, actors way better. And they were paid way more than we were. The maze hosts were. And they even asked me, they're like, hey, what time are we supposed to go back? Like two actor girls asked me, what time are we supposed to go back? Because they thought I was an actor. And I was like, I don't know. I just go back at 10. And when I was, when I went back in at 10 and I went to like the, because I had to go through the bosses, which you might call it, um, little guide station, guide house or whatever the fuck. The freaking girl one of the management which by the way all these people give off such dark energy she was waiting there and she's like i don't think that was 30 minutes and i was like oh like i was so confused and i was like i just thought we were supposed to come in at 10 and she's like no you're only you're only supposed to take a 30 minute break that's exactly what the fuck she sounded like too and if you're watching this I still hate you. Anyways, <laughs> sorry. Um, that girl made me so mad. Anyways, um, so yeah, like the management started like really treating me badly. Also, another thing that happened is a lot of sexual harassment happened, which by the way, I worked there for three months. It was a seasonal job. I worked there for three months only and the shifts were only six hours for three days on the weekends and we did not even see each other and there was so much sexual sexual harassment so imagine if it was like a normal job how much there would be freaking the security guards hit on one of the girls that was like the manager not the one that hated me but the other one that was also a bitch and then freaking um, there was this gay guy there, and one of the security guards, like, was messaging him on his phone, like, hey, go to the bathroom and send me butt pictures, and then freaking with me, 
So basically they gave you like free tickets to go through the house and stuff like that. So I went there. So I was there, but I wasn't working. Okay. And there was this really fucking drunk guy, which by the way, just to backtrack a little bit, they made a big ass deal that I did that because I didn't call time out, which I thought they literally gave us fucking tickets. Like, why would you give us fucking tickets if like we can't fucking go to it? You know what I mean? And like we have to call out, you know what I mean? Like I thought you would just know that we were going to it because we could only go on really slow days. So why is it a big fucking deal? That Olivia bitch, which by the way, her name was Olivia. She fucking gave me shit for it. Anyways, so when I was there with my friend, literally at the end of the, you know, route, when we were just chilling in the courtyard about to leave, this really drunk guy comes and sits next to me. He's like 40. I'm 19, by the way. And he's literally like, he has the VIP thing, which mine was only general admission, which by the way, that's so shitty that I work there and they don't even give you free VIP. They give you free general admission. Anyways, so he's like, when are you going to go back in? Because when you have VIP, you have like, you can go back in twice. And so basically, um, he's all like, when are you going to go back in? Oh, like, tell me about the house and stuff like that. I had to pretend like I was working just to escape this creepy ass guy. He was clearly intoxicated. He was just slurring his words. I didn't even know what the fuck to do. My friend wasn't with me. She went in the gift shop. Um, and yeah, I, he just like got up to go do something and I just literally ran into like anywhere, you know what I mean? And like, that was so fucking creepy and there was no security, no nothing. And then also one thing that also happened on the last night was this old ass tarot guy. There was tarot card readers there. This old ass guy that looked like fucking Santa. I like talked to him like a little bit. I just fucking was friendly to him. After I came back from my lunch, he asked if he could kiss me. I could, I might, I literally might insert a picture because this guy... was old as fuck, okay? And he actually worked at a grocery store really near to my boyfriend's house, my boyfriend at the time. So that really scared me, okay? That I could actually maybe run into this motherfucker, like, again. But that was the oldest fucking person that has ever in my life so far hit on me. A fucking 72 year old and when I reported it to management that same Olivia bitch she comes to me and she's like oh it could be worse in the name of fucking what's her name that girl on that TV show um I'm blanking right now um I'll think of it later I might I have to fucking edit this now I need to put in receipts I swear to god anyways That is the worst. There is no other worst. That is the fucking worst. A like 70 year old asking me to kiss me. What fucking worst do you want? Like I'm about to fucking put a lawsuit on y'all. Anyways, so that also happened. And then also, which if any of you guys are from the other YouTube channel, because unfortunately I made a video with this guy because I thought he was okay. If you're from Herb's Element, which by the way, search that up on YouTube. Search that up on YouTube. Herb's Element. That guy is a fucking creep and I could literally go into it about him. And I made a YouTube video with him actually because I thought he was chill. Dude was 32 and I was 19. And he hit on me. He actually deadass wanted to date me. Dude turned out to be a total creep. And you know what? The fucking Winchester Mystery House hired him. Out of 40 people they could hire, they hired him. Anyways. 
So to get to the point where I was in a cult or anything, because you're probably like wondering like, oh my God, this place fucking sucks to work at. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. But like, how is this a cult? So basically, here's my conspiracy theory. By the way, Winchester Mystery House, do not fucking sue me. Everything I'm saying is true. I'm not trying to tr slander you. But this everything is just a coincidence. It's just my little conspiracy theory. But this is my conspiracy theory. So because I sympathized with... um what's her face uh sarah that made the house like that you know she had a very hard life and she died and you know people are using her house for like money and scamming people which by the way the tickets were a hundred dollars and they were not worth it at all i felt bad for her you know what i mean like you know it's just be a historical place that's preserved you know what i mean um she felt bad for me and so she wanted to make it like the shittiest experience as possible because I didn't belong there and stuff like that and so basically she possessed the freaking um what should I call it the um the bosses that worked there and it's like a tier base thing of the cult so on the lowest side of the tier is the customers then the next um, of the tier is the maze host. They are like the least in the tier. And then just the customers are just fucking whatever. You know what I mean? And then the second tier, they're in the cult, is the like actors that are like, um, whatchamacallit, they like are tour guides at the actual, um, whatchamacallit, the um, house. So they actually work there like besides just even during the Halloween session, you know? And then it's the managers, which by the way, you're probably like, no, it's not a cult. No, trust me, it is. Because when I was there and I was training, the cult leaders that, you know, were running this whole thing were like, you know, you can like come and like, you can try and like apply to like work here full time, but some people just stick out more than others. That is such a culty thing to say. And one of the fucking managers is only 20. So they do pick and choose who they like the most, who is the most evil, because all these managers, they had like dark fucking energy, okay? Trust me, they did. They like had dark like hair, facial features, like, you know what I mean? Like facial movements and stuff like that, like energy, like you can just feel their dark fucking energy okay coming off of them right and the freaking actors they love being controlled i so one time they told me and i was only on my phone twice which not around customers by the way the first time i was messaging freaking um one of the employees if they were coming and the second time i was just taking a photo of myself in this smoke i didn't even think anybody could freaking see me and then just one of them pops out and is like oh get off your phone blah 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 seriously blah blah and there's like no fucking customers they told me that they would send me home the next time that i was on my phone and i told one of the actors and they're like yeah i think they should be more strict on us actually So they love being controlled. They are part of the fucking cult. They are fucking mind controlled. Anyways, so I forgave him where I was, but that's the cult here. And unfortunately, I was part of it and I didn't know. And, you know, as soon as it was time for me to get out, I would never return, which I haven't since. And even every time I drive by it, because it's in downtown Santa Santana Row, I feel weird as fuck. I still have my pillow. I never returned it. I didn't even know we had to return it. They never even hit me up to fucking return it, by the way, because they hate me. Because they know. Bitch, they know what I'm on, okay? Because it is a fucking cult. And I think the only thing that also is fucking weird is one day, actually, I took the time to look up who even owns the Winchester Mystery House. And all it said that the people that own the Winchester Mystery House is John and Mayhem Brown, which you can look up on Wikipedia. And I'm like, who is John and Mayhem Brown? And all it says on Wikipedia is they own the Winchester Mystery House. 
there is nothing, absolutely nothing about them. How is that even possible? How is it even possible that you own such a big, you know, historical landmark and nobody even knows who owns it and it's still up and running and you're making like hundreds of thousands of dollars and stuff because it's hundred dollars per ticket. Like imagine if there's like 500 people, big bucks. You know what I mean? They are making a shit ton of money, okay? So I thought that was weird as fuck too. And you know, even when I fucking talked to um one of the tour guides, they said the reason why Sarah actually um built all those rooms is not because she was like afraid of like the ghosts or anything, it's just her and her husband were into architecture. So the whole thing is just a fucking hoax, pretty much. And they're using that to profit off this haunted house and stuff like that image and to take your money and all that shit. It is fucking insane. It is fucking insane. I cannot even believe. I cannot even believe it. And um, for Halloween, which I had to work on Halloween, they said that we could dress up as flappers like you know 1920s 1930s like kind of um actually i think it's just 1930s but i don't know when flappers were around but anyways it's 1930s theme okay or maybe it was 1920s i don't know and so i'm like okay i'll dress up as a flapper you know what i mean and literally one of the fucking bitches which by the way i used to like this girl like like okay not just like oh i like you, you know what i mean like i had a crush on this girl right she told me, oh, you know, you're dressing up for, like, the Halloween as a flapper, but you know you're not part of the show, right? I'm sorry. Y'all are the ones that said that we could dress up as flappers, the fuck? Anyways, and this bitch was a manager, and every day she had, like, clown fucking makeup on. Imagine you need to talk to the fucking manager, and they have fucking... Scary ass clown makeup on. Oh yeah, that's super professional. That's super professional. Anyways, please, please, please. I don't know if I forgot anything. I am not naked by the way, let me put my hair down. But anyways, hey guys, this is editing me and I did actually forget one thing. So on Halloween night, when that really creepy guy like asked me out and stuff like that, yeah, let me go like that because it's way better light. When that creepy guy asked me out, right? I had to like switch like shifts with somebody. And so I was down in the fucking basement. Which by the way, they put me in the basement like almost every shift. Probably because they hated me. Anyways. And when I was down in the basement, I was wearing a pearl necklace. And literally, so... Okay, a little backstory. I avoided the house, like, at all costs when I, like, felt creeped out about it, you know what I mean? And lots of other people did, too. And so I worked out in the front yard of the house because it was, like, a party and all that shit. And so when I had to go back in the house again, I felt weird as fuck. And I was wearing a, um, pearl necklace because I, you know was a flapper it fucking broke off which you know that i was talking about how sarah messes with your jewelry okay that cannot be a fucking coincidence and then i like sensed that she was there and i was like sarah if you're here like just chill with me okay and i specifically said chill okay and literally when i did that i got chills all up my arms like i do right now Oh my god, I'm literally talking about it and I have chills up my arms. But when I freaking said chill, I got chills all up my arms. I was not cold that entire night until that moment. So that's also one other creepy coincidence that is like, you know, creepy energy. It's a fucking cold, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's one thing I forgot to mention. Anyways, bye!
but there was so much creepy shit that happened so many people that i know that work there freaking don't want to work there anymore and stuff like that that was like the weirdest experience i've ever had out of a fucking job and i've worked at mcdonald's bitch which i can make a whole story time about that if you guys want me to have another story time anyways but do not fucking go there so many people like my neighbors i've lived here for so long have never gone there do not go there do not go there for a tour do not go there for their halloween thing boycott it i wish that i honestly i know this is extreme as fuck but i wish that fucking horrible haunted house haunted house not even a fucking haunted house would just burn to the fucking ground because it is a scam and you know sarah doesn't deserve that she deserves peace she had a very hard life just make it historical fucking you know thing a landmark okay just make it like history intact it okay don't make people fucking go all in it and fucking have sex everywhere inside of it which by the way that did happen people were jeweling people were or fucking vaping and people were having sex inside the house because like fucking there's not enough security and people watching over it and also it's dark energy from satan didn't want to pull the Satan card and the whole Jesus thing, but it is not a godly place to work at all. And I'm, if you want me to talk more about my whole thing, like getting back together with God, I would love to. Because I was during this time. And that's when I realized this is not like a God loving place to work. Okay. So do not go there. Do not go there, girl. Do not go there. Okay. Is there anything else that I'm missing out? Just fucking all the managers there sucked and hated me to the point other people noticed. <sighs> Fucking lunch was like high school. Like there's so many people, there's like cliques. And by the way, so last year, and not, I'm not just talking 2023, I'm like talking 2022, there's only like 16 maze hosts this year. They put like a thing on indeed.com. So there's like 40 fucking maze hosts and stuff like that. They could not handle that many people working there at all. There was people like smoking inside the fucking break area and stuff like that when they were supposed to be smoking in the parking lot. Yeah, I got in trouble for being late. And you know, with the whole like, the actors thought they were better than everyone and stuff like that. And like, they would just stick to themselves. And, like, all the maze hosts were just, like, the normal people that, like, work there. I just wanted to make 20 an hour. But you're only working five hours, boo. So you're not getting that much. And they literally lied to my friend. They are like, we're not hiring. When they tried to, you know, work there full time. And then they hired my other ex-friend. Which I'm not even... Mm, I hate him so much. And, uh... They hired him. So they're hiring more creepy people to work there. Amongst with all the other security guards are creeps. Amongst with the fucking tarot card dude that's creepy too. I wouldn't even be surprised if he's back there again. <laughs> <coughs> so yeah. Crazy as fuck. Crazy as fuck working there. Do not go there. Do not go there ever again. I mean, they don't even have my polo, bitch. They don't even have my... They never even... The moment I stepped off that fucking soil that is Winchester Mystery House, they never hit my lineup again. My friend had to tell me that we had to bring those back, but they never called me to bring it back, so I didn't. That is how much they fucking hated me. And you know what? Even from day one, that fucking Olivia bitch, that tooth-looking-ass bitch... Which, by the way, I want to say one thing. She is jealous of me. So, you know how I wear wigs and shit? Like, this is another one of my wig. So, when I um went and got hired there, I was wearing my black wig. And then I showed up with my shaved hair wig. And I did all weird, crazy makeup. Which, they were fine with me then. But even on the when I was wearing my shaved head, the Olivia bitch, like, I was sitting down on the bench. And I even asked the old guy if, like, he needed a place to sit. Because... It was, like, fucking hours upon hours upon hours of, like, training and shit like that for no reason. Anyways. Um. 
but she's like, come on, get up and stuff like that. You know, we're moving, blah, blah, blah. Just because she hated me. And then I got a blonde wig and oh my God, I, I didn't even get a moment of silence ever from that bitch. Every fucking day, I did something wrong in her eyes. Like, the time I went to break a little bit early because I was dying because I had, like, something in my throat and I had no water. And they're supposed to go around and replace everyone's water, okay? And this was a day where they didn't even do that to me. And so I went and got some water, like, as soon as all the people were like out of the house and stuff like that and i got some water apparently there were some people and they went through the wrong part of the house or whatever but whatever bitch at least you didn't scam them you didn't scam them like all the rest of them and didn't even give them their money's worth of the tickets anyways that girl was a hoe that girl mm, i hate her so much anyways anyways so yeah, that was the time I was in a cult. Do not go to Winchester Mystery House. Ever, okay? Ever. I am never going there again. And there is people that work there for 10 years. Everybody that works there is bad fucking energy. Bad energy. Also, I need, this is like not related at all, but I need to get like a ring light because look how weird this like lighting is. And if I go like that, like, look, now I look all cute, you know? Sorry, that was to Olivia, not you guys, okay? So, yeah. But anyways, if you guys liked this story time or thought it was interesting, which is just kind of a little vent or rant, you know, about the most interesting workplace experience ever. And keep in mind, I was only there for three months. So I imagine if I was there for longer. <sighs> oh my God, of all the things that would have happened. Anyways, so yeah. But if you guys enjoyed my YouTube video, if you guys enjoyed my story time about the time I was in a cult, because it so is a cult, okay? Yeah, that's my conspiracy theory. I there's too many freaking coincidences. Anyways, but if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to like and also hit that subscribe button because I will be doing more crazy ass story times. I want to do like the first time, like I did weed, or like the first time I lost my virginity, or the first time I did my girl on girl experience, the time I worked at McDonald's fucking my first fight like all the story times i can give you okay the time i had a moth in my ear like there is so much more to come and also i want to do more makeup tutorials because i do my makeup differently now than i didn't than i did beforehand and i think it's better what do you guys think anyways but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and leave down a comment below and also my socials will be linked down below too everything is just wisteria underscore e my instagram my tiktok go and follow me on there because even when i don't post on here i'd be posting every day on there so if you want to see more of me and maybe some more shorter story times on tiktok i don't know anyways make sure to go and follow me on those but anyways guys that's the story time for today i hope you guys enjoyed it i love you guys all so much and i hope you have a great rest of your day anyways love you guys Mwah. big kiss